Just heard beeping there. Let's see how long we can stay with this leopard. Hey, beautiful cat. It's marking again. Now again, this is also quite confident of him. And it's a combination of a few things, but the main reason is just that there's not many other males active up here. Some of the big guys, Tyson and Mafufunyan, back in the day of Shivati when he was still around, if they were active up here, this guy wouldn't be quite as brave. But there's not other males, so he might as well assert himself, leave a scent mark, leave his scent all around as the, as the busy male up here. Something else that's really nice to see is just how much more relaxed he is. Just in the last last time I saw this male was oh, a while back, probably six weeks ago, eight weeks ago. And already you can notice a bit of a difference. Ah, oh, fantastic. Giving us the pose there. A bit closer again. I thought he might mark there, but it seems not. Just checking what other leopards might have walked through here. So there's a good chance this leopard will hunt tonight as well. He's looking very lean. Probably hasn't eaten for at least four days, maybe five days. <laughs> stick with this leopard as long as we can but I'm just hearing the warning lights or actually the warning beeps from the batteries so just in case we suddenly disappear thank you so much for an awesome day it's been a fantastic first day to be back here that awesome lioness at the start of the drive this morning leopard earlier rhinos leopard again now to end off with it really has been a great day of wildlife a great day to be back and uh, also just want to say again goodbye to Haley who's on her way along from myself, Peter, from Alex, from Jan, from this beautiful male leopard. We're going to stay with it as long as we can, but if we disappear, thank you again for joining us. Thank you, Peter, as well. Uh, just a quick question as well from Bonnie, and uh, she would like to know what the light takes to from a leopard. Bonnie, we're going to just move on, but... While we're getting closer to this leopard, I'll answer your question. Bonnie, definitely. If a lion gets the opportunity, you will not even hesitate for one split second before he takes the leopard food away from him. Obviously, that's why leopards normally try and hide their food up in trees.
and even then if they don't do it properly lions will take it from there so almost certainly at any occasion lions as well as hyenas will take the food away from leopard but obviously if the leopard has enough time and he's got a big enough tree he'll stash it up there and that way he can feed in it for as long as he wants but i think for tonight this leopard's main concern is finding something to eat on the Angala in the north I didn't quite get it and then this Ingwe is now mobile on Central Road um, heading east uh, not too far from Ahina Road now. Okay, copy, thanks. Thanks, Peter. 